So after that frustrating nil-nil draw against Liverpool, Manchester United travelled to Lisbon to face Benfica. In the third game in the Champions League, we've won our first two in prime position to qualify as winners of this group. And a win away at Benfica effectively means we're top the group. But I don't think Manchester United will be going all out for the win. I think we'll get the same style and the same formation that we used away at CSKA Moscow. And we won 4-1 there. So why would Jose Mourinho change that? As you can see in my predicted starting 11, I'm putting David De Gea in goal. No questions asked. Unreal save against Matip at the weekend. And he, for me, I keep saying it, is the best goalkeeper in the world. Uh, now I'm going to go for a, a basic 3-5-2. So we're going to go for Lindelof, Smalling and Jones to start as centre-backs with Ashley Young left-back and Antonio Valencia right-back. I think Lindelof will definitely, definitely start against his former club. We signed him from Benfica in the summer. So you've got Mourinho going back as ex-Porto manager. This game will mean a lot to him. It will mean a lot to Lindelof, who signed from Benfica in the summer. And it will also mean a lot to Nemanja Matic, who was signed by Chelsea from Benfica. So it's going to mean a lot to these players and it should mean a lot to these Manchester United team. Benfica are a very good European team, lovely, lovely stadium. And I think it should be a good occasion, but I do expect Manchester United to set up in the same formation we used away at CSK in Moscow. That's why I'm going five at the back and I'm also going for Herrera and Matic in the middle again. As I said, Matic, I expect he'll have a fantastic game. He rises to the occasion. He's arguably being Manchester United's best signing this summer. Let me know in the comments if you disagree with that. Lukaku's scoring so much, you can definitely argue it. But I would put Matic as probably the best signing we've had this summer. And I'll definitely start him in midfield alongside and Herrera. It's going to be the case until Fellaini or Pogba, or both, are back from injury and gives Jose Mourinho more options in the middle. Now, in a sort of number 10 role, I'm going for Henry Mkhitaryan. It could be Henry Mkhitaryan or one matter, but I feel Mkhitaryan's ability to carry the ball at his feet means he's better for European away games because we're going to need somebody to run through the midfield and bridge that space between the midfield and attack. And I think Mkhitaryan can offer that a little bit better than what one matter can. And up front, I'm going for Marcus Rashford and Romelu Lukaku. Martial started against Liverpool, so I'm putting Rashford in to start against Benfica. Yeah, you know, Mourinho may disagree, but maybe I'm right. I'm going to start Lukaku, obviously, because he's a goal-scoring machine. He did miss that big chance against Minile. But given how well he started this season, I'm not going to hold one missed shot up against him, even if it could have got us two extra points at Anfield. That's it for my predicted 11. Let me know what your predicted 11 will be in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video, ladies and gents. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.